Okay, problem two is a very similar setup to problem one. Uh, it's going to give us the, uh, the, the inheritance here, the trait of seed texture in pea plants follows Mendelian inheritance patterns and round is dominant to wrinkled. So we have uh, P squared would be basically that genotype, 2PQ, that would be this genotype, Q squared is this genotype, and so on. So uh, we've kind of assigned our alleles there. You can uh, write them here if you'd like to. And, and or you can write them above here as well. So this would be like little r, little r, little r, big r, right? Maybe it's helpful to write them above the columns there. So go ahead and fill out the chart. What is, uh, what is the little r, little r genotype frequency? 9% uh, have wrinkled seeds. 91% are round. Wrinkled would be the little r, little r genotype, whereas round would either be big r, big r, or big r, little r genotype, because it's a Mendelian dominant inheritance pattern. So 9% would be 0 0.09 in decimal format. And then go ahead and just unsquare that number. And then do the difference of one to go here. Square the number to go there. And then solve for 2pq by putting in the values in the in the p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals one equation. So go ahead and do that and then check your answers. So the square root of 0 0.09, 0 0.3, and then this must be 0 0.7, 0 0.7 times 0 0.7, 0 0.49, 0 0.49 plus 0 0.09, 0 0.58, so this must be 0 0.42. Um, and then obviously you can just fill these out based on each of the columns. It's already given to you. Question three is talking about uh, sickle cell. And so sickle cell is interesting traits because there's a what, what's called a heterozygous advantage here. Um, if you live in a part of the world where malaria is uh, potentially going to be transmitted to you, then the heterozygous condition uh, allows you to be resistant to malaria. Not only that, but uh, the heterozygous condition has no other ill effects. Um, the homozygous condition is actually um, problematic in, in terms of the sickle-shaped uh, blood cells. And so um, the homozygous sickle cell SS genotype um, is, is not um, ideal because of the side effects of that. Um, but the heterozygous is an advantage. And so the question says, what percentage of the population will be more resistant to malaria because they are heterozygous? So really what we're looking for in the, um, let me see if I can copy this here. What we're looking for in this equation what we're looking for is, is we need to know this. Okay, but remember, in order to get there, we have to start here and then work our way through the equation and end there. Um, so we kind of have to, even though the chart isn't shown, we kind of have to go through all that stuff. So we're going we're gonna to start with, with Q squared here, probably. So 4% of an African population is born with uh, the severe form. We're given Q squared. So Q squared is 0 0.04. I guess I can write that right here. 0 0.04. That would mean Q. What's the square? What's what's the square root of 0 0.04? It's 0.2. So basically, uh, took the square root of it. And then what's P? P must be 0.8. Okay. And then what's P squared? So square 0.8. So 0 0.8 times 0 0.8, 0 0.64, and then 0 0.64 plus 0 0.04, 0 
equals 0.68. So this must be 0.32. And then that all equals 1. Hope I did that right. So that's the answer to the question. Heterozygous uh, says what percentage? So I'll write 32% of the population is heterozygous and resistant to malaria if 4% of the population is born with the severe form. Okay.